How is it? Look at the steam coming up over there. The view of the snow capped mountains. This one is definitely special. Alright, we're here. This is our cabin in Yellowstone. So Lindsay grabs one thing from the car. <laughs> the most important thing. <laughs> We're waiting. Okay, now let's give you a little tour of our cabin. So we have a log cabin. It's a real good looking cabin. So this is Aldridge Cabin, a comfy one bedroom, one bathroom cabin with a kitchenette. It's about a 10 minute drive from the north entrance of Yellowstone. The main bedroom. Small tidy bathroom, gets the job done. Okay, so this is called Corwin Cabin and we're on the edge of Yellowstone. I think it takes about five minutes to get into Yellowstone. It was perfect for us for a couple of nights. A cozy little log cabin in the snow. Now let's go outside and look at this view. Front door view, beautiful mountains. Good morning from Aldridge, a small mining town on the outskirts of Yellowstone. Look, we're surrounded by mountains here. And there's just a few little cabins. Whoa! Look, a bunch of elk over here greeting us. So we just woke up on the outskirts of Yellowstone and already we're seeing some wildlife. So I think it's going to be a good day. Look at all these cute little restaurants. Okay, we've just made it into Yellowstone. And where are we going now? We're going to the Boiling River. And what is the Boiling River? The Boiling River yes. is a hot spring, or a hot river, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> and we're gonna go swimming in it. Swimming in what? In the river. <laughs> in the middle of winter. What are you gonna wear? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> That's the answer I was looking Nothing. for. Okay, right now we're hiking to the Boiling River where a hot spring meets the river and so you can actually bathe in it because it's mixing the hot waters with the cold waters. So the Boiling River is actually kind of a hidden gem. It's lesser known than a lot of the other things in Yellowstone National Park. We were lucky because if you come here in the winter only the north entrance of Yellowstone is open. And that's where the Boiling River is. Sometimes it's hard to find trails when it's snowing. How do we know when we're in the right place? Keep sticking your hand in freezing cold water until it comes out warm. How is it? Not warm, but it's not the water. So we're looking for the Boiling River and we either walk on this ice here Trail. Or, Lindsay saying we just go up here. That's not even a trail, is it? <laughs> so we lost the trail, and we don't know if we're going the right way. This is what we're looking at right now. So if you come to Yellowstone in the spring or the summer, there are probably going to be a lot of people from what I've heard. But if you come here now in the winter, you have the place all to yourself. And it's so quiet and desolate. It's really amazing. We are not close to it and we went the opposite direction in which we were supposed to go. So we have to turn back around. This must be right. I see the steam up there. You see it? Yeah. 
This is the boiling river. Look at the steam coming up over there. We finally found it after like an hour of hiking and it was actually right here all along. There are a couple people in there that you can't really see because they're inside the cloud of steam. So here, this part is a hot spring and it empties out over here into the river. So that's where you go to swim. Ah, this place is so cool. I haven't even been inside yet. Look at this steaming hot spring and it's running into the river right here. And supposedly that's gonna be a perfect temperature to bathe in right here where they meet. This is gonna be so cold. I'm excited though. Oh my gosh. It is so cold. Cold? Yeah. Wow. We're at the boiling river. We went to our own little spot kind of down the river here. So there are a few people because we showed up too late, but they're way up the river. So when you first get into the river, it's just a cold, icy river, as cold as it could possibly be. But then you'll see that the hot spring is emptying out into it on the side. And so as you go down, you start getting the mixing of the waters. So you get the coldest water you've ever felt, but also burning hot water from the hot spring. But as you go down, they start to mix together and then you get this perfect temperature. So it's like a hot tub. Look at this view over here. We have a view of the snow-capped mountains all around us. And there's nobody else around. So we just got out at the end of the hot spring because we didn't want to go through the cold water to get back. <laughs> and this is Lindsay running back in her underwear. How is it? I'm gonna be honest, it actually isn't that bad. <laughs> How do you like it? Uh, that was amazing. So cool. Next, we can go to Lamar Valley, which is supposed to be really good for wildlife. And then there's also a nice loop that we can drive as well. And we're all bundled up right now. We just got done dipping in the river. Mm -hmm. How do you feel now, right after getting out? I actually feel great. Yeah, it's not too bad. Yeah, it feels warm now, even out here in the snow, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. It's snowing. All right, so we're at another hot spring right now. And this one is much different. You can smell the sulfur in the air. So I can't find the name of this hot spring. It's a mystery hot spring. Maybe on the map. Yeah. This is Pallet Spring. This one is definitely special. Look at these rock formations here. It's all these layers. We don't really have a destination in mind. We're kind of just driving around the park because a lot of Yellowstone is closed during the winter. So we can't really see some of the main sites here. So we're just gonna drive around, a little road trip through Yellowstone and see what we find. Finally, we spotted a moose right over here. <laughs> I'm surprised that even works. All right, the moose just stood up. We just got to see a moose in Lamar Valley. Our first moose of the trip. Mm -hmm. And hopefully we find some more wildlife soon. Probably gonna go find some bison. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm excited about that. Mm-hmm. More bison right off the side of the road. There are a few running up here, little babies. Teenagers. Hello. So that was my week with a stranger in Montana. Lindsay flew back to Minnesota and I went back to California. 
Stay tuned for the next video and join me as I head out to another part of the world. You're awesome for making it all the way through this video. Hit subscribe to follow the adventure because I'm traveling all over the world and I'm sharing the whole thing with you. Click one of these videos to keep watching. Thanks.